All right, I have the papers. My idea is to have a built-in app. They will lose everything and most likely become homeless. Look, we made drawings for you. You'll be taken away and a lifetime of jail in my basement. You little... Huh? What? Agent Moore, I command you to be an inside spy for the company Haven Industry. Why do I need to do that, sir? They are our company's enemy, and you'll be working as the CEO's maid. You'll get information and report it back to me. Understood? Yes, sir. But I want it now! It's fine, yeah, yeah, just go, let's go! Sorry! Whatever! I'll get it! Where are we going? Um, wait, uh, she left the entire- Logan, honey, wait for me! Uh, Mom, some girl is here! Oh no! Uh, follow me, I know the quickest way out of this world. How do you know that? I can't see him. Super <gasps> Hello! You must be Violet. That's me. <laughs> you guys are the Brooks, right? <laughs> yep. No need to be nervous, dear. Come in, come in. Um, where should I put my stuff? You can put it next to the door for now. I'll show you your room in a few minutes. All right. Nice to meet you. I'm Violet. Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm six years old. Logan, nine years old. Mom, who is this? Be nice, Logan. She will be your new maid. She'll take you to school and clean the house. Wait, why can't you take us to school? <sighs> My job is making me start at 7 and your school starts at 8. But if I start early, then I'll have more time with you in the afternoon. Does that sound okay? Huh, I guess. Um, so where is Mr. Brook? He's upstairs, working in his office. He usually comes down... right... now. Nice to meet you. I'm Miles Brook, but you can call me Mr. Brook. Nice to meet you, too. Can you tell me where the bathroom is? I'm in the right house. He works at home. Yeah, it'll make my job way easier. All right, I'll try. <sighs> I'm sorry. You seem like a nice family, but I have to. Thank you for giving me a room to stay in while I work for your family. You don't have to say thank you. I should be the one thanking you. It's been hard keeping up with the children and my job, and you'll be doing me a favor, so thank you. Um, yeah, uh, no problem. Do you need anything? Are you comfortable? Mm-hmm, thank you. Feel free to explore if you'd like. For tomorrow, you'll have to drive the kids to school at 7.45 because their school starts at 8. You can drive, right? 
Uh, of course. Good, all right. While the date goes on, you are expected to clean the house, which means the kitchen, the living room, the kids' bedrooms, my bedroom, your bedroom, and the bathrooms. Also, please don't disturb my husband when he's working. Uh, uh, of course. Uh, how am I supposed to use the vacuum when I can't disturb Mr. Brooke? Oh my god, that was such a dumb question. <laughs> I mean, don't disturb him by talking to him or any kind of loud music. <laughs> right, of, of course. All right, I'll be going now. Like I said earlier, feel free to explore. Okay, time to find out where his office is and to think of a plan of how to get information out of him. This looks like a bathroom. I doubt he works there. Mrs. Brooks' room. Ellie and Logan's room. Oh, here it is. Ah, this was a bit easy. What are you doing? Nothing. I was looking around and I found this room. Uh, what is this room again? It's my dad's office. Can't you tell? <laughs> right. He doesn't like it when people go in there, so I would advise you not to go inside. Oh, okay. Thanks. Why do you want to go in there anyways? I, uh, um, um... I wanted to see the butterfly poster. Uh, mm -hmm, yeah, I love butterflies, so... Okay... <sighs> that was way too close. Whew. Way too close. Violet, see you when I get home. Why are you still here? Is something wrong? I don't like going to school. Uh, why? I have trouble with math, so most of my classmates make fun of me for it. I'm sorry, Logan. Why don't you tell your parents? I would, but... They're so overprotective, they'd hurt anyone who does that to me. Also, with the job my dad has, he would ruin their lives with the ideas he has and stuff. Huh. Better take a note about that when he leaves. I'm sorry about that. If they do it again, I can try to do something about it. You just have to tell me, okay? Okay. I promise. Bye, Violet! It's 1.30 p.m. and I have to pick up the kids at 2.50. So I have an hour and 25 minutes till I have to leave to get them. Okay. No! That idea isn't good enough for our company. I have a better idea. Wanna know? One second, let me get my papers. Oh my gosh, this is the checkbook! Alright, I have the papers. My idea is to have a built-in app where you can make holograms of different things. 
an apple hologram, a pear hologram, have your grandma on a hologram. You can even talk to people using holograms. You can also draw a design and send it to someone, and that will pop up on their phone. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to disturb you. While I was coming upstairs to sweep, I accidentally dropped the broom. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, no worries. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. Did you hear anything, perhaps? What? No, I have not, sir. What would I be hearing, exactly? Nothing you need to worry about. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, thank God. That was so scary. Miss Violet, today we learned about the stars. That sounds like so much fun. What about you? What did you learn today? They made fun of me again. Where are you going? Telling those kids to respectfully shut up. A few moments later. They won't mess with you anymore. Don't worry, I didn't do anything bad. I just told them to stop or I will do something bad. <laughs> as long as you didn't do anything this time. Today I learned about the stars! And I learned about comparing numbers and greater or less values! That sounds so interesting, guys! It was, Mommy! Great job on cleaning, by the way, Violet! Of course, Mrs. Brooke. I was wondering, is it okay if I can have a one or two hour break right now? <laughs> of course! Be back in an hour, though. Did you get information? Yes, sir. I have it all on a notepad. Very well done, Miss Violet. You are to stay being a maid for them, in case there are more business ideas he has. And, if there are any better ideas, please report those to me immediately, and we'll use those instead. Okay, but what are you going to do with that information? I will be making the workers develop this in a week and we will give it out before them. That way, when they release it to the government, the officials will believe they copied us, and they will go out of business. What will happen to the family? They will lose everything and most likely become homeless. Oh, and one more thing. Failure to abide by my instructions and follow my rules will lead to you losing this job. Your property to be taken away and a lifetime of jail in my basement. And if you do follow the rules, you'll be spending the rest of your life traveling the Caribbean in an elite, exquisite yacht for all I care. And you'll also get a promotion. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Perfect. Now hurry on, will you?
Oh gosh, what have I done? What have I contributed to? I need to do something about this. Hello, Violet. Thank you so much for joining us again. Please, come in. I'm sure the kids will be very happy to see you. Of course, ma'am. Uh, she just uh, Okay. Ellie, Logan, I'm back. Yay, Yay Violet. Violet! Oh. <laughs> oh. Be taken away and a lifetime of jail in my basement. Well, kids, I'm gonna go clean upstairs, okay? Be good children! We will! <sighs> I don't hear anything yet, but I know he's definitely in his office. Your idea is reasonable, but I have another idea I think will actually get us somewhere. <gasps> he's talking! My idea is to have a built-in system for any technology source that can listen to conversations and read text. It's not an actual app, so they can't disable or delete it. There will be words that the system detects, and when they hear or see that word, they'll look into it more and listen for everything. If they see that it's something worth getting paid attention to, they'll contact the police. Wow, that's amazing. I have to write this down. Honey, Violet, dinner is ready. <gasps> What's that? Uh, ingredients? No, uh, groceries. Yeah, uh, Mrs. Brooke gave me groceries that I need to shop for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. We'll come down for dinner when you're ready. Oh, yeah, right. Sure thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that information, that new idea was so valuable. I don't want to hurt the family at all, but I need to send it to my boss, or else he'll fire me. I'll go to jail and who knows what else could happen. I have to do it. It's for my own good. Perfect, it's all done. I'll just need to send it after dinner. Drawings for you. Oh, thank you. Come to think of it, how can I possibly send my boss that email? I've only known these kids for a few days, and I wouldn't do anything to hurt them. Look, we made drawings for you. Be taken away, and a lifetime of jail in my basement. Dear, you don't have to clean the dishes. You did a good job today. Go upstairs and rest. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Brooke. Ugh. Ugh. You know what? Let's just not tell my boss. He won't have to know the information and he'll just do the first idea I told him. Let's be honest, it wasn't the best idea either. What did I do? I just pressed the wrong button! Fiddlesticks! Okay, Violet, think of an idea. Quickly, think, think, think! I got it! It's risky, but it's the only thing I can think of right now. Better than nothing. I've been expecting you. Now, Violet, I must say, you've done an amazing job being an agent. 
You've succeeded at everything that I've told you to do, and so much more. Well done. With your help, and the new innovative idea Mr. Brook came up with, my workers will be developing the new listening-in technology in less than a week. And we'll have it working on the public before you know it! <laughs> Our business will be the most successful business in town! And when Haven Industry releases its version of the listening in technology, the officials will thank them for copying us! <laughs> and it's all thanks to you, Agent Moore. The ruthless Mr. Brook and his family will go homeless, and I'll finally achieve what I've been waiting for all along. Success! <laughs> Is that so, boss? Why do you say that? Because I think the only thing you're successful at is getting popular on the media. <laughs> Give that to me! What? What did you do? I recorded our whole conversation on my phone and it's getting streamed all over the news, to the Brooks house, and across the internet. How does it feel like being exposed? <laughs> Ugh, you little... Huh? What? It's the new hologram technology. Didn't catch it, did you? <laughs> From that moment on, everything changed. The FBI and the authorities took my boss in and sentenced him to a lifetime in prison. They also investigated his cooperation and shut it down due to several other discoveries they had found. As for me... I had to do some community service since I took part in the act, but it was okay. I didn't mind because after, I got to spend the rest of my days with the books, and it was amazing! I enjoyed their company and had a swell time. It was a big learning experience for me as I learned to never do extreme acts just for one's benefit. And even if I'm trying to be nice, I should always listen to my gut, because most of the time, it's always right. <laughs>